Hey, hey, hey. So the XFL week number, what, four now? Um, it's almost here. It's almost ready to go. Um, but we got some things to go over first off. Um, first off, the Tampa Bay Vipers because um, <laughs> some things have been happening. Taylor Cornelius has been named the starter for this week. Um, Quentin Flowers has like some type of emergency. I don't know what's going on with him. Um, but he has like some type of emergency. He's left the team for a little while. Um, as far as ratings goes, uh, you know, not much really happened. You know, it was another dip in the ratings. Um, then there was a trade for the Vipers. So the Vipers, they said stubs over... Um, linebacker over the, for um, St. Louis, they give um, stubs up to St. Louis for Car for Caldwell because they need some corner help out there because they've been getting torched by other teams for the past few weeks now. Um, but um, uh -oh. yeah, not much else has really happened um, so far. This week, you know, um, as I'm looking off into some other things here, um, but not much has really happened so far, you know, during this week. It's Thursday. Um, it's definitely a good good day for some XFL talk, and we're here. We're ready to go. Um, as far as the games goes with this week. Um, do believe we do have and again I do believe this is the week that I said I was going to you know be um on a little bit yeah it will be on Sunday March 1st that I'll be on for a little bit but we have the LA Wildcats and New York Guardians at 2 p.m. on ABC first off um, then at 5 it'll be Seattle taking on St. Louis that's on Saturday, February 29th, and then on Sunday, um, March the 1st, for the first day of March, uh, Houston will be coming back up to Globe Life Park, that disgusting stadium, and taking on the Dallas um, Renegades, my Renegades, and then it, it'll be a game at 6 o'clock, that's 7 for you East Coasters, on ESPN2, so that's a little different. Um, ESPN2 for the DC Dragons and Tampa Bay Vipers. I mean, not wow, DC Dragons. I meant C, I meant DC Defenders. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, um, not really too much to say this week, you know. <laughs> There's still time for the XFL, you know, like, stabilize themselves as far as ratings go. But, you know, the ratings last week were, they were all right. They weren't the greatest, but they were all right, you know. Um, but it's not about ratings in, like, week three. It's about ratings in year three, which is going to be key. Um, but, yeah, uh, not much else to talk about as far as XFL goes. There hasn't really been a lot that is circulating around the news um, this week. But, yeah, it should be an interesting slate of games. I'm ready. I know you guys are ready. Sorry there hasn't been a video all week long. But, hey, there's a video today. And there will be, um, there will be a couple of videos tomorrow. And then... Or Saturday after the XFL games on Saturday and a Sunday too, you know, it'll be all that good stuff. So we're all here, we're all ready, we're all prepped for some more XFL football, baby, because it's, it's getting it's getting to that time where it's March Madness, and it's going to be interesting to see how the XFL can compete. But that won't be for another couple of weeks, so who knows how that's going to work. But, yeah, you guys are the real MVPs, all 49 of you, all the unique viewers that continue to come in each and every each and every video. Um, Y'all are also MVPs. You can come on down, subscribe, comment, share, do all that good stuff, and, you know, just, just make this channel a lot bigger. 
uh, so that I can afford better things, you know, uh, so we can get that, we can hurry up and get to a thousand subscribers, I know that's going to be a long time away, but yeah, um, yeah, so, XFL, baby, this is the XFL, hey, and we'll see you guys, you know, as far as XFL talk goes, after Saturday's games, we'll see you then.